Welcome to another Zincast, and yes, this is a storm update Zincast live storm update. And I have an arrow here, and it's pointing due east of South Carolina. That is where the low pressure is, okay? You see that? Right here, okay? That is where the low pressure is. And if you want, I can't, oh, by the way, this is not a model. This is live current observations. If you want to know where the low pressure is going, okay, you follow the kinks of the pressure fall. So this is the kink of the next pressure fall, but look where it's leaning, okay? You see that? You see where it's leaning? Right here, okay? So low pressure is moving here, okay? And then here, right? If I could click on that, I'm trying to click, there we go, right? And then there, right? So you could see how the pressure falls are falling off the East Coast for the surface low pressure, okay? Now, the reason why I bring this up is because it's 7 p.m. It's almost 8 p.m., okay? And the low pressure, due east of South Carolina, right? And based off of these pressure falls, next step would be probably right about there, okay? Let's go take a look at the 18Z GFS since everyone loves GFS and everyone model hugging and loves these surface maps and they, they're the ones that can tell you if it's going to snow or not and how much snow you're going to get apparently but look where it thinks and by the way right here 7 p.m. January 28th okay this is what the model predicted for 7 p.m. <laughs> today Okay, and this is the 18Z GFS, so it's the latest GFS that came out, right? That's what it thinks where the low pressure is. Well, what do we know? We know the low pressure is actually down here somewhere, okay? And where is it putting it? Oh, next to the yellow mark. Why next to the yellow mark, Chris? Because that's where the convection is, the convective feedback. This is what I mentioned in all the, all the videos that I made. The models are having a hard time with the surface map. So you look at the surface map and you try to make your forecast. You're not going to get it right in this instance with this storm because it's following this convection. So it's completely off. It's really more down here. Okay. And in fact, you can actually see that this whole contour here of low pressure, that's all one bar. I just drew that in. Okay. It's really down here. Okay. So now it's here. So now the whole forecast, the whole rest of this model suffers. Okay, because what do we do? We go to the next panel. We go, oh look, now it sticks out here. And, we're, and notice it's sticking it by the tri by the um, uh, the convection, right? And we go again, and now it's sticking it by the convection, right? And that keeps it nice and far away from the coast, and keeps the heavier snow bands off the coast. And at that point, when you look at the snow chart, you're like, oh, there's no snow, and that is why we don't sit there and just. Or whatever the model says is going to happen. No, models are tools. You have to understand when the tool is making mistakes. So there you go, okay? That is clearly not what's happening right now. So let's actually take a look at some current observations because this is the stuff that you want to see. Here it is. Look at the upper levels, okay? Look at this energy. Look at that curving in. It's turning neutral, okay? Next step, negative. And boy, it's doing it early, okay? So far, it looks like it's either on track or maybe slightly early, okay? Uh, let's take a look at, take a look at the upper level winds, okay? You know what I like about this? Look where that's pointing, okay? Right? Okay, none of this tells me that this storm is going way east, like the surface panels of some of these models that are chasing convection thunderstorms over the ocean okay uh and let us you know i'm gonna go to um let's go here give me a second go to the radar also so that last frame of the radar look at the precipitation field look at it expanding tightening up and look you can already see it curving in you see that curving in okay and just look at how expansive that is and again we're at seven o'clock and if we go to seven o'clock in the model run here let's go back seven o'clock that is not that expansive no it is not so there you go okay once again if you want to base your entire forecast off of, off of model surface panels then you 
Sometimes it works out. I'm not going to tell you that it, they're always wrong. Sometimes it works out. This storm is a different type of beast, okay? It's all about the upper levels. It's all about the upper levels, okay? When this trough digs, it's already turning neutral. Soon it will go negative. And when it... Here we go. Let's uh, back up a little bit. This is 7 p.m. tonight. This actually, this is the European from last night because I'm using that one. But you could see the energy, okay? And once again, as that goes and it's pointing, you could see exactly where it's pointing. And again, when this upper level low closes off, what happens is it acts like a magnet and it pulls the surface low to it, okay? So even if the surface low is trying to escape this way trying to escape this way when this upper level low closes off it can slow it down pull it in if it's a little bit more to the west of it and then you get some more dynamics and that's the whole point of the forecast that's what we we're seeing that's the reason for the weather map the snow map which i'm going to put back on at the end of this video um and yeah that's it right all right, now look, still early in this game, okay? We're uh, I don't know, third inning, okay? Right now, if you like snow, you're up a couple of runs, but you know things can change in the upper levels. You never know, right? But everything looks good for the snow map as of right now. Things can change. Who knows? If they do change, I'll let you know. Just remember, these models—they don't make the weather, okay? And all day today, all I keep getting is, are you gonna change your forecast? 12Z models, oh, everyone's cutting their forecast. No, 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 again, the theme was, where was the upper level low gonna cut off and where is all this energy pointing? It's showing you where it's pointing. And that has not changed on the models, okay? The problem is when you look at the surface map, the models are looking at convection and trying to put lows in places where they're not actually there, okay? That's it. Hope you enjoyed this quick Zincast. This is the quickest Zincast ever. Like, subscribe, do all the stuff. Have a good one, everyone. Enjoy the snowstorm, okay? Don't go out. Have a good one.